Hey everyone, James Reese with TFB TV here at IWA in Nuremberg, Germany. I'm at the Revo Arms, wait, Revo Arms booth, a brand new Italian firearm manufacturer. They've got a couple of things that are on display here, but what caught my attention was this extremely low bore axis handgun that is brand new, although it's been in development for a few years. I'm speaking here with the developer, Inverardi Simone. Thank you for having us in the booth to talk to us about yes. your new gun. Tell us all about it. First, let's start with what it's called. Uh, I'm an engineer uh, in all the world, all the uh, automotive, everything. During these uh, 15 years, uh, there is a lot of uh, increase of performance, but I see that uh, uh, with the firearms, uh, the, the form is uh, the same. 15 years ago is the same, but today. So I want to introduce uh, something of news. Mm. So the best thing for me is uh, uh, take the barrel lowest as possible for have uh, the minimum recoil. So this one is uh, the result for that. We have uh, a very low barrel. We use uh, Browning system because the market uh, want uh, want this one because it's easy is uh, easy to to produce and is very uh, with, without problem in the future so we use uh, glock compatible uh, light sight sorry sights yeah, that's fine <laughs> magazine the same of glock we change only the pad so we have uh, more grip respect the, the the original. We have a very big and large entry. Magazine and, well, yes. Yes, okay. So it's very easy to introduce it. Reverse. The button is a reverse. So you've got the magazine release button, which is reversible. Yes. For left yes, or right-handed yes, yes. shooter. For uh, left and uh, right hand. Uh, yes. Uh, the particular of this uh, firearm is uh, respect the other polymer because the frame is a uh, polymer, but uh, respect the other the other brand, we have an internal chassis by molding, so very strong, and uh, after that we machine complete by CNC machine, so you have uh, front and uh, rear rail with very, very, very low tolerance, like the, the metal frame. So this would be, at least in the United States, yeah, I see you have the serial number. Yes. So that means all yes. I have to do is buy this, I purchase this, yes. and I can go here, here, yes. here. Yes. And uh, so if you have serial number on the chassis, you can change the, the, the polymer frame all you like so you, you can change the color maybe in future you can change uh, some uh, the, the form there is a window for see if there is ammo inside the chamber the same for the extractor when there is the chamber the extractor uh, have Protrudes. one millimeter yeah. so you can touch and see if there is ammunition you also have the ambidextrous slide yes, release yes left and right but it's very close to the frame too, which is nice, very yes. sleek. Yes, 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 yes. There is uh, the, the red point, so you can see if there is uh, the, the fire pins is ready or not. So, and there is free full automatic uh, uh, safety. Trigger, rear, and the one inside for the fire pins. So for this assembly, is necessary to open the slide so you can control if there is some ammunition inside push the button with the finger and turn 118 degrees so oh that's very yeah. simple yes 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 very 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 simple so you can see the barrel is very 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 easy to produce it we use uh, multi-radial barrel, is a patented uh, uh, method for have uh, very high speed and uh, for uh, reduce uh, the, the recoil. 
So you, you can see, <laughs> I don't know if it's impossible to see, but uh, it's multiradial, is uh, patented, so you can see on, uh, see. on the yes, website yeah, yeah. Uh, what is this. Multiradial rifle. Yes, multiradial rifle. The extractor is uh, completely inside, so you don't have problem with uh, dirty from the outside. And uh, we use uh, DLC treatment, diamond-like carbon, that uh, at the moment is uh, the best treatment uh, for, uh, for, uh, for everything, and for, for the firearms too. For reassembly, you can put here, put the spring, hold open, turn, push, and you're ready. And I noticed that the trigger is very crisp, very light, yes. crisp trigger. Very which was soft, softly. Yes. Very softly. Uh, all the firearms ES9 has a screw on the rear position of the trigger, and uh, you can uh, uh, regular. Uh, you you right, can modify, modify right. the end stop with a screw that is inside this hole. Inside the hole, you can put inside a, a key and you can modify the trigger. For the sport, this is the, the sport. There is some modify and uh, there is another screw for the start and for have the, a very, very small uh, uh, reset. Mm -hmm. Short reset for the trigger. Yes. yes, like this one. How many models are you going to be coming out with to begin with? At the moment, we have uh, two models, normal, normal version, and with a 4.2 uh, long barrel, mm -hmm. and the Sport with 4.8. And we're talking inches, oh, 4.8 inch. This one, this one. This and this one. one I see is threaded. Yes, and uh, there is a uh, red dot ready. There is some uh, window, and there is a flute on the barrel. Sure. And are there any other differences, like with the trigger? This one. There is metal trigger. The screw for uh, the, for have a very very short reset, and uh, nothing else. Now, what are we talking about in terms of pricing? Well. Let me rephrase that. Uh, have these gone into production yet? Uh, the production start uh, this month. We are ready with uh, all the equipment, all the mold. Uh, there is only some little bit problem with uh, some supplier because for COVID uh, there is uh, some, uh, some something is later. But uh, I th we think that uh, we start uh, this month with the production. We prefer uh, wait. Uh, four or five months to, to give it the, the buyer because we prefer to make a lot of tests. Sure, that's understandable. And you said that these have been tested now for two years or in development for two years? Oh, yes, 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 yes. no problem. So how much is one of these going to cost when they do come out? Sorry, I don't understand. Uh, price. Ah, price, okay. Uh, we are waiting the, the price of the, some supplier because uh, with this situation, the price of the supplier uh, change week by week. So but at the moment, at the end user, final with uh, Italian taxes, everything mm -hmm. is around 650. Okay, around 650 euros. Yes, yes, yes. Well, I have to say, thank you very much for showing me this new line of pistols, thank guys. You. Thank you for watching. Thanks again to Revo thank you. Arms. Guys, stay tuned. We'll be bringing you more IWA.